High school baseball on Wednesday night. Pikeview visiting Independence in a regional rivalry. Top of the first base is loaded for Jacob Harmon. He hits a grounder to second as outfielder's choice, but Dakota Cecil scores from third. Panthers take a one to nothing lead. Next batter, Tyler Hamilton, directs the pitch into right field. That lands for a base hit. Nick Woods would score. Seth Meadows would round third to score. And Pikeview would lead 3 nothing going to the bottom of the frame. Nick Kostenko looking to answer for the Patriots. He directs a base hit into right field. However, it would stay 3 nothing after the first inning. To the top of the second, Woods would find a gap in left field. Andrew White will be waved around third. He would score and Pikeview increases the lead to 4 nothing. But the Patriots would get runs in the bottom of the second inning. Hunter Mills with the runner on. Deep fly ball to center field. That lands. Tyler Haga would round second and third base and he would score on the RBI triple by Hunter Mills to make it a 4-1 ball game. Very next batter, Chase Mills would ground out to short, but Hunter Mills scores from third to make it 4-2 as Independence comes from behind to win at home. Final score, 13-9. High school softball in Shady Spring on Wednesday. Lady Tigers hosting Pikeview. Top of the first, bases loaded for Taps and Torres. She hits a grounder, the Peyton Wiseman, who gets the out. But Kim Carr would score, and the Lady Panthers take a one to nothing lead. Pikeview would have several runners in scoring position as they look to increase their lead. But Miranda Allen gets strike three. Shady Spring would have an opportunity to answer in the bottom of the inning. Leadoff batter Bradley Hayhurst at the plate. She hits a deep fly ball to left field, and that would be gone for a solo home run for Hayhurst. That would tie the game at one apiece. The Lady Tigers will later take the lead, then Peyton Wiseman at the plate. She goes deep to center field. That's a two-run home run and will make it a 4-1 to one game. And then Hayhurst at the plate a second time, going deep to left field for her second home run of the afternoon. And Shady Spring would lead 8-1 to one after the first inning. The Lady Tigers' success on offense would continue in the bottom of the second as Hannah Daniels hits a solo home run to center field. Brooke Clark also with a home run as well as Shady Spring wins at home. Final score 13 to 1.